If you own a Roomba, you'll realize that periodically you'll need to change this side brush because it will wear out. That's no big deal because all you do is take out this little screw and put on a new one. However, in spite of your best efforts to not over tighten the screw into this little nylon shaft, you'll find that after about the third brush that that screw will no longer take purchase in those threads. I've tried a number of things. I've tried super glue and epoxy and even Loctite and none of those things really work. I tried re-tapping those threads with a slightly uh, larger screw but uh, that really didn't help. I had read that one could replace the gears inside the side brush module for about eight to ten dollars. But my memory is that at the time, due to COVID supply chain issues, I could not find those replacement gears for my module. Therefore, I ended up replacing the entire motor module for twenty-four dollars. However, after a few changes with the new motor, you realize that now those threads are not holding the, the screw in place. What I planned to do was to take a drill and make a hole from one side of the hub through the center of the hub and out the other side. I drew this line on the bottom of the hub where I could see the six-sided socket. This was because I needed to draw the line perpendicular to one of the flat surfaces so that when I later match drilled this hole to make a new hole in the nylon shaft, that tiny flexible drill bit would also be perpendicular to a flat surface on the shaft and thus not, not try to wander. Furthermore, I wanted the hole, the hole to be as low on the hub as possible so that it would hit as low as possible on this shaft and not go through the top of it. The way I did that was to put the hub in place and seat it as fully as possible and then take a sharpie and put it right on the lip of the motor module. That would tell me where I wanted to drill. Because I knew that it would not be easy to drill on that curved surface, I was going to um, put this in a, uh, a vise on my uh, milling machine and take a very small end mill and make a flat surface here that would allow the, uh, the drill bit uh, not to wander. I have extended the line that I drew on the other side of the hub so that I could see where it would be on the front surface. What I planned to do next was to take this uh, 50 thousandths uh, drill bit and run it through the base of this hub and have it go through that center hole. It's pretty easy to line up on the uh, milling machine or, uh, or on a drill press and you'll see how I'm going to kind of pre-place this. After I, uh, I drilled the hole through the uh, base of this uh, hub, um, I took a paper clip and cut it down to size and, 
and passed it through and you can see that the paper clip is passing right through the middle of the hub and it's coming out the uh, the other side now in order to uh, match drill the uh, the hole in this hub with a this uh, nylon shaft I will place it onto the shaft and I know that uh, of course that uh, any hole that I drill through the center of the hub will also pass through the center of the uh, of the nylon shaft. What I'm going to do next is using the same drill bit that I used on the milling machine I'm going to drill uh, the hole through uh, the nylon shaft and uh, essentially match drilling it with this uh, with this hub. Let's see if I got it. Yeah, it's just come out the other side. I know you may, may not be able to see it. The uh, now, let's see if I did some good. Yes, passes right through, and you could, I can see anyway that the, uh, the paper clip is going through the center of the nylon shaft, and it's coming out this side. And you can see that it's, it's fixed. It's also a fairly snug fit. Um, if it weren't, I would probably bend the, uh, the pin at both ends, bend it up just a little bit so that it wouldn't uh, wander off. Here is the top view of the hub with the pin passing through the center of the shaft. If you've been wondering about how you would do future uh, side brush replacements and say you have bought a, a six pack of them uh, from Amazon, you could uh, take them all and uh, uh, drill them on the uh, milling machine or on a uh, drill press uh, and essentially um, uh, make them all fit that, that hole in the, in the center uh, fairly easily. One other thing I was going to mention was that uh, if uh, when making this little flat spot on the hub prior to, uh, to drilling that hole, uh, you don't have to use a milling machine and, and an end mill. You could uh, use a Dremel tool or something else to make just a little, a little flat spot there and, and then uh, use the drill afterward. I think that if you don't have a milling machine, the, the next best choice is to use a drill press. I don't think you could make these kind of holes very accurately just with a handheld uh, drill. I hope this video has been helpful and will save you some money on replacing these uh, side brushes. Um, I don't think this is a very good design by, uh, by Roomba. It's, to me it seemed like a uh, a, a way of getting you to buy more of these uh, uh, side brush motor modules.